Good morning everyone and welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Kim. Today I'm going to share my quick, easy, cheesy goulash. It's yummy, delicious, makes a huge batch and doesn't cost a whole lot. So let's get started. I just got some boiling water here in a pan and I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of salt in it. We're going to get our noodles going. I'm just going to use a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese. You can use any brand of macaroni and cheese you have. I'm just going to get these noodles going in the pan. And you can use any kind of shaped macaroni and cheese you like. If you're making this for kids, you can use spiral or the alphabet. So I'm just going to get these in the pan. And we're going to get it stirred up real good so they don't stick. Get them all nice and stirred up. And then I'm going to go ahead and cook them for about 10 minutes. Okay, I tasted these. They are done. So I have put them in a strainer now. We've drained all the water off of them. Okay, I just have a large frying pan. And I have got it over a medium high heat. And here I'm just adding a pound of ground beef. You can use turkey if you want or even pork if you want. Um, I'm just going to chop this up. This was in my, my freezer, but I let it defrost this morning. So I'm just going to chop it all up, and we're going to get it all nice and brown. Get it cooking really well. Okay, so now it's been cooking for a couple minutes, and we're getting nice and brown. And here I just chopped up a small onion. I just cut it into about half inch pieces. And I'm going to put this in. And if your family doesn't like onion, you don't have to add it. Our family just loves onion. This is a great meal for kids, especially if they like macaroni and cheese. You can get some vegetables in to them and without them even knowing it. <laughs> so here I'm just going to get it mixed up really nice and well. I'm going to get these onions cooking. And if you have any green peppers, you can go ahead and put green peppers in it. Um, we're going to get it all cooking here, and we're going to put a lid on it and cook it for about five minutes. Okay, so it's been cooking for about five minutes, and the hamburger and the onions are now done. I'm going to get that all stirred up, and there's some grease in the pan, so I'm going to go ahead and get the grease strained off because we don't want all the, the fat in our dish. So we'll be right back. Let me get that drained off. Okay, I've got all the grease drained off of it now. And now I'm going to add a can of diced tomatoes. This is just a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. You can use any brand you want. This is just one I happen to have on, on hand. And now I'm going to add a can of corn, any brand you want. This is a 14 ounce can. You can also add peas or green beans if you want to add any other vegetables at this point. I'm going to get this all stirred up and get this cooking. Okay, get this all stirred up. And I will be posting the recipe below, so if you want to go look, just hit the more button below. And um, I will put the recipe down there, so you can write it down if you want to try this. It's a really yummy dish. Okay, so we're just going to let this cook for a couple of minutes. Let it. The tomatoes get cooked and the corn get warmed up. And here we're going to add some seasoning. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Just sprinkle that in. I don't really measure things. You can measure if you want, but this is about a half a teaspoon. And then I'm also going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. You can put fresh garlic in this if you want. I'm just going to use some garlic powder. I've got that on hand. And I'm also going to use a half a teaspoon of black pepper. So we'll get that in here. I'll get that all nice and stirred up. And then I'm also going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic salt. I just use the Lowry's. And you can just add regular salt if you don't have garlic salt. And add just a touch more garlic powder. And then I'm going to put the lid on this. And I'm going to let it cook for about three, about three or four minutes. 
just a couple minutes. Okay, I turned the other pan down to low. This is our pan. We had our noodles boiling earlier. We're going to add two tablespoons of butter, and my butter's frozen. I just pulled it out of the freezer, but we're going to go ahead and let this start melting. We're going to get our cheese sauce ready because this is easy cheesy goulash, and it's going to have lots of cheesy goodness to it. And while this is melting, I'm gonna see if I can find my whisk so I can get this cheese sauce made. I know I had it this morning. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's in the strainer. I forgot I washed it. <laughs> okay, so the butter is melting. Well, this is just a pan on about oh about low heat. There's another piece of butter I missed. Okay, so the butter is just about melted. It's taking a little bit longer because it was frozen. Okay, I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of milk. And this is just whole milk. But you could use any kind of milk you want. If you've got 2% or even if you've got some almond milk around, just go ahead and use it. It'll work. And now I'm going to use, this is the packet that came with the Kraft macaroni and cheese or any kind of macaroni you're using. We're going to add this into our pan. And then we're going to whisk it up really well, see if we can get all the lumps out of it, get it mixed up really well. And this is still on medium heat. I want to turn it up just a little bit. So I'm going to, it was on low, now I'm going to turn it up to medium just so we can get it a little bit warmer. We don't want to go too high because we don't want to scorch it to the bottom of the pan. So here I have... We're going to add a cup of shredded cheese. I just have some Colby Jack shredded cheese. You can use any cheese you have. If you have just a cheddar cheese or even a Mexican style cheese, you can add that in. And I'm going to add a, just a big handful, which is about a cup of cheese. You can add a little bit more if you want, a little bit less. But you can use any kind of cheese. I've used mozzarella in the past. It's worked really well. Okay, we're going to get this all nice and stirred up. And we're going to keep it stirring because we don't want it to stick. And we're just going to stir it real well and all that cheese will melt down really, really fast. Okay, now we're going to have to season our cheese sauce. So, I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper, about a half a teaspoon. A little bit more onion powder, about a half a teaspoon. And another half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm not going to add any more salt to this because we've already salted it at the beginning. We just want to make sure our cheese sauce going in tastes as good as the rest of it does. So I'm going to get this all stirred up. And it's starting to thicken up really well. Okay, I went ahead and turned the burner off on the cheese sauce. And I've turned this back up to medium heat. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the cheese sauce into our hamburger, tomatoes, and carrots, and our onions. We're going to scoop all that out and make sure we get all of it. We don't want, don't want to leave any behind. We want all that cheesy goodness. This is not the healthiest meal, but it's a very filling meal. If you need a cheap meal to fill up your family... Um, I usually make this and my husband and I will eat it and then there will be leftovers in the fridge so my husband can eat it the next day for lunch or just eat it on a day I don't feel like cooking dinner. My husband can just reheat it up in the microwave real fast. So I'm just going to get all this mixed up. We want to get it all coated in the cheese sauce. And I've got this pan on medium heat. We're just going to bring it up to temperature and get it warm back up. And this cheese sauce will thicken up really nicely. I think I said carrots a minute ago. There's no carrots in it, just corn. <laughs> you could put carrots in it if your family likes carrots. <laughs> you could add anything to this. You can even add mushrooms if you want. Okay, so now we are bubbling and boiling away. Now we're going to take the pasta that we boiled and we strained. We're going to take our macaroni noodles and we're just going to add it to this pan. And then I'm going to get it all stirred up. I'm going to get all those noodles coated with all that cheesy goodness. 
get all that sauce on the noodles and the noodles to break up a little bit. Some of them are sticking together, but we're just going to keep on stirring, get it all mixed up. And I hope you guys try this. If you do get a chance to try it, and leave it in the comments below what you get, what your family think of it or how you guys liked it and what you thought of it. Okay, so I'm just going to let this cook for just a couple of minutes. We're still on medium heat. And I'm going to add another, about a half a cup of shredded cheese. Just to make it a little more cheesier. <laughs> Got to have that ooey gooey goodness. And we're going to mix this in. Get it all melted. And that's about it. This is a very easy dish to make. Makes for great leftovers. Kids like it. If you got grandchildren, they'll like it. But look at all that cheesy goodness. You can see it's all nice and stringy. Nice and thick. Doesn't that look delicious? My mouth is watering already. <laughs> okay, so I took it off the heat and I let it sit for about five minutes and it thickened up really nicely. I just let it sit with the, the lid on it. But here it is, it's all done. It's nice and cheesy and nice and stringy and it's a very hearty dish and doesn't cost very much and it's a meal you could make for under ten dollars and feed an entire family so here is my husband's plate I just dished up for him and I just want to say thank you everybody for following along and watching my video today I'm going to be working on some more recipe videos so please hit the like button and have a great day